This sad story has taken on a strange new twist given what is inside the search warrant re return form. According to the Johnson family attorney, it shows what police took from Lloyd Johnson's home. Bizarre new details revealed surrounding the death investigation of Farmington Hills attorney Lloyd Johnson. The 47-year-old died Wednesday morning at Botsford Hospital. According to a family member, his wife Laura is in police custody. Lloyd Johnson's five children and attorney Brian Daly held a news conference this afternoon. We do not believe that Mr. Johnson died of a stab wound. Um, if it is a stab wound, then it is a stab wound of a most unconventional nature. Daly says that because of what he says Farmington Hills police removed from the Johnson home during a search. Among the items, suspected human tissue from the kitchen's refrigerator freezer, surgical equipment from the master bedroom like a scalpel, as well as bedding covered in blood. Also removed were prescription drugs. Daly says Lloyd Johnson had a high amount of opiates in his system when he arrived at the hospital, suggesting he may have been poisoned. There are reports that he uh, appeared appeared to be um, uh, ashen, that he appeared to uh, be disoriented, that he was complaining about feeling ill for just a few days prior to. Daly says Johnson's wife Laura was taken into custody Wednesday morning at her children's Farmington Hill School. He says she was trying to take her kids out of school when police showed up. Daly says Lloyd Johnson was a bright man who had worked at Jeffrey Figer's law firm, but was currently running his law practice from his home. According to Brian Daly, Lloyd Johnson recently told his wife he wanted to end the marriage. My understanding is, is that <clears throat> Mr. Johnson had disclosed uh, to his wife Laura uh, over the weekend uh, in some sort of a uh, discussion that he was planning on filing for divorce from her and her statement back was uh, apparently that uh, um, she did not want that to happen. Now Brian Daly went on to say that the family dog may have been poisoned and now tests are being done. Now I did speak with a gentleman over the phone who says that he is a family member of Laura's. He says that the dog was euthanized. He says this is all a misunderstanding and that Laura did nothing to harm her husband. Reporting live in Farmington Hills, I'm Anu Prakash, Channel 7 Action News. Okay, a couple of questions. Anu, any rumors about domestic violence and what are police and prosecutors saying about this case? We've heard some rumors about domestic violence, but certainly nothing confirmed. We asked Brian Daly about that. He said he did not know anything about that. When it comes to police and prosecutors, Farmington Hills Police have been very tight-lipped about this investigation. They are still not saying anything. We did check in with Jessica Cooper, the Oakland County Prosecutor. She says they are reviewing the case and they plan on releasing some more new information tomorrow morning. All right, Anu, we know we're going to stay on top of this case. Thank you much for that live report.